as you can see, my hair is pretty grown out now. This used to be a skin fade and it's clearly not anymore. Um, everything is just grown out pretty drastically, you know. So all of that needs to be cut back. Moustache overgrowing, beard is looking grizzly. So I'm just gonna show a video of how, how I cut my own hair. I'm gonna include links in the description below to all the different stuff that I use to help me cut my hair. Plus a few more bits and bobs like a handheld mirror and stuff like that. All the links are below for where you can buy everything. So first thing I'm gonna do is use this detailer to do the lower borders for the skin fade. So I'm gonna go all around my head and get like a, a nice zero level with this and separate the beard and the lower part of the hair. So I've just gone round um, the lower part of my of my hair, um, all around the back, all around here. All right, using using double mirror. Um, I know that not all people will have access to double mirrored doors, so you, to get those angles that I that I've just got. But um, you can use a handheld mirror, and it'll help you the same way. It does take a bit of hand-eye coordination. I'm not gonna lie, but after you do it a few times. It just comes naturally so you know the more you do it the easier it will get so what i'm going to do now is i've you know after going going around with the, with the detailer um i'm just going to go around with this babyless uh clipper and i'm going to use the different levels now to do the top level and blend it down to the bottom and then blend it with this zero line here and then i'm going to do the bid another thing is You'll notice that I've done the zero line quite short and quite quite low down, sorry. Um, I'm, I've never really been a big fan of doing a high fade, like doing it from here and then having a short amount of distance between where it goes from a zero to the longer part of your hair. I've never been a fan of that. I've always been a uh, an advocate of the more gradual fade that, that goes across, spans across from all the way down here, all the way up here gradually, as opposed to like the sudden, short long fade which yeah to me personally i don't i don't like that it doesn't suit me
So I've just finished blending the um, the bottom part of the fade, not the top part, I haven't blended this bit in yet. But I've just finished blending this. What I'm gonna do is just to clean up the bottom parts here and, and maybe add an even closer shave level here at the very bottom, I'm gonna use this foiler. Um, this is a Remington foiler. So this this just makes it ultra ultra clean, proper like professional. And I, I mean, I wouldn't I wouldn't personally use a razor because every time I use the straight razor to do this kind of stuff, especially on this area of my skin, I always get a bit of a rash. Uh, probably because I like to get it quite close. But um, yeah, a foiler is really really good if you want to get a nice close shave. So with the beard and the facial hair, what I tend to do is I'm, I'm just going to shorten all of this. My moustache is thicker, the, the hair is thicker than uh, the rest of my beard and it's closer in between as well. So what I do is I shorten that a little bit more than this part. Basically, I just fade it out from here towards where it joins the hair, um, the hairline up there. So this is the longest bit and it goes shorter, 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 shorter. Um, in terms of shaping it up, I don't usually touch this bit. I used to, but I don't I don't touch this bit anymore. I find it looks a lot better. So all I do is after I trim it, I just shape it up down here and make sure it's a straight line. And that tends to kind of look a lot more natural, look a lot cleaner. You just want to blend it just so it looks nice and um and clean and tidy. <laughs>
Okay, haircut done. I like a fade that's more gradual across the whole side of the head as opposed to like a quick sudden fade that just start, starts from zero from here and it's like joop, long hair. It's like, I like it more when it's like this. So with the beard, also like I was saying, I only just, I just shape up here. I, I'll probably do this a bit later as well um, with a straight razor, but um, I do that and I shape up the top lip. So you wanna do a straight line across here, straight line down here if you've got the V. If not, if you've got hair filled here, then that's fine. But if, you, if you've if you got what I've got, go ahead and define it because it looks even better. But yeah, just to show you the back. So yeah, just a gradual fade all the way up. I start lower than, than up here at the back. And yeah, that's how I cut my own hair. Again, I'll include links in the description below for all the products, like the clippers, the detailer, the foiler, even like the comb and stuff like that that I use. So you guys will be able to buy all of that kind of stuff yourself and do what I'm doing.